Hi foodies, welcome back to my channel. Let's make some delicious galbi. So to my knowledge guys, in Korean cuisine, galbi is referring to ribs and then kalbi is referring to grilled beef ribs. You can correct me in the comments below if you know otherwise, but I saw these at the supermarket. These are Miami style short ribs. So they cut the ribs across the bone and then you have some really thin strips that cook really quickly on the grill or even in the oven. Now the first thing we do is rinse this several times and then we are going to pat dry just to let all of the marinade get deep into it. So that's it. We rinse it off in cold water several times and then pat dry. You could even soak it in the water as well. Then we are going to be going into the marinade. So this is some soy sauce, some chili paste. This is some Chinese cooking wine, some rice wine, and then some apple juice. And we're going in with some rice vinegar. And then this is some sesame seed oil, some honey. And this is some grated gala apples. So when I did my research, I heard that Asian pears go well in this dish for tenderizing and giving a little flavor. But I didn't have any Asian pears, so I'm using some grated apples because apparently apples and pineapple and kiwi, those are some of the things that would help to tenderize the meat. All right, and then I'm going to go in with some ginger and garlic. I'll be adding some brown sugar and some scallion as well. This is gonna add lots of flavor, so no onion powder today, guys, all right? And then I'm gonna add some freshly ground pepper and whisk everything together. I'll be adding some fancy molasses. This is totally optional. Um, I just love to add this to certain things because it gives me that darkness and sweetness, all right? So what we're going to do now, guys, is just lay all the beef in there. So you can marinate it this way, stir everything together, right? And then cover the bowl, leave it to marinate for 24 hours. Or the better way is to pour everything into a Ziploc bag, squeeze out as much air as you can, and then just seal it and leave it in the fridge. Now, if you're doing this overnight, you know, after four hours, if you're still awake, you can rub the meat, turn it around, flip things over, and then seal it again and leave it till you wake up the next morning. So what we want to do, guys, is to rub the marinade into the meat. That soy sauce and the, the um, cooking wine is just going to give that saltiness and then the brown sugar and the apples are going to give it that sweetness. It's going to be really delicious, guys. Trust me. Just make sure you rub that marinade in there and let it sit in the fridge 24 hours or overnight at least. So the next day, what you're going to do is scrape off any excess marinade off the beef, especially the solids, to scrape them off. And then we are going to grill these up. It's really easy, guys. I am using my cast iron grill pan today. It's barbecue season. It's very warm right now. So you can use your outdoor grill if you want to. All right. So we're just going to lay the beef on the grill pan here or grill if that's what you have. And then we're going to grill these really quickly on medium to high heat on both sides, okay? So maybe about three to four minutes on both sides. So total should be like six minutes cooking this. You want to cook it quickly. And this is what you end up with. Really nice juicy beef. Right here I have some honey and soy sauce that were warmed together. I'm just going to brush this onto the beef before we eat. And... 
What you can do as well is that leftover marinade, you could boil it on the stove and reduce it, and then you could serve it up with the beef. But for today, I'm just gonna use that warmed honey and soy sauce, and that's it. This is really delicious just to add it to your barbecue spread, or if you're having you know, a nice international cuisine theme for dinner, this could be your dish from Asia. It's really simple and delicious. It is super quick, guys, trust me. All right, so give it a try and let me know what you think, guys. See you next time.